the BRCA genes are some genes that are associated with some cancers. They have been implicated with specific cancers, especially uh, breast cancer and gynecological cancers. The, the identification of the BRCA genes came from basic science research. We will never have any idea about it if it wasn't very basic science research in the lab. The big challenge is how do we get there faster? Because every day that goes by, some people die. And we know that there will be new things that will come up that will cure some cancers. But, you know, time matters a lot. Karen was an incredible person, you know, a myriad of ways. But the thing that was most important to her was being a great mother and a great wife. A lot of people knew Karen had breast cancer. They didn't realize that she actually died of ovarian cancer. They didn't realize that her daughter had the same gene and, and could likely suffer the same fate. So telling that story and, and having that through line that it wasn't just Karen, but this affects her children, um, really had a significant impact on people. When Brad and Maria and the Krieger family came to us about how the H Foundation could help fund BRCA research, it really fit into our model where individuals are affected and families are affected and people are affected. And at the H Foundation, I think what's at the heart of our success is people knowing that there's other people going through the same things and together we can make a difference. When the support that we have had here for 20 years from the AIDS Foundation has resulted in so many amazing discoveries, uh, some of them early in development, very recent, some of them long time before, and it's really hard, it's, it's, it's truly remarkable what has happened because we did all this work, it helped us to recruit other people that work together to understand cancer. And, um, you know, I know, although I cannot give you exact numbers, but there are humans who are alive today because of this work. Every time I have the opportunity to walk back into the cancer center, and especially here in the labs, it's just overwhelming. It's overwhelming to think of what's been accomplished what the H Foundation has been a part of and the incredible partnership that we've had for over 20 years with the Delorey Cancer Center and all of the doctors and all of the research. And they're showing you what they're doing with the money. And that's kind of an incredible situation. I'm a person who likes to see results. So for me, um, you know, I love to work in the garden because I can see results pretty quickly. And this feels like that. You're, you're kind of planting seeds that will grow and will turn into something. And that's what I love about H Foundation and, and what they're doing at the Lurie Center. Knowing that Alice and Braxton have this gene and will have to deal with the effects of that gene, that's what's inspired me to try to do something. First of all, it's, it's the only thing I can do for Karen. I felt compelled to do it. I was gonna find a way to do it, but I'm very, very thankful that I can do it with H Foundation and Northwestern and the Lurie Center.